before we proceed to the introduction of the Gamaba Award is, let's first talk about the Gamaba Award. The National Living Treasures Award or the Gawad na Manilikha ng Bayan or the Gamaba is conferred to a person or a group of artists that is recognized by the government of the Philippines for their contribution to the country's intangible cultural heritage. For you to achieve a Gamaba Award, here are some of the qualifications. Must have engaged in a folk art tradition that has been in existence and documented for at least 50 years. Must have consistently performed or produced over a significant period works of superior and distinctive quality. Must possess a mastery of tools and materials needed by the art and must have an established reputation in the art as master and maker of works of extraordinary technical quality. Now you know some qualifications for you to have a Gamaba Award. Now, let's proceed to the Gamaba Award. Suleiman is a musician from a Masapana Magindano and is awarded for his dedication to Magindano Kudyaki. Kudyaki is a two-string loops where one string provided the rhythmic drone and the other has movable frets that allow melodies to be played in two sets of pentatonic scale. According to the people who heard Samaon play, when he played the Kudyaki, he speaks and you can hear what he is saying. Samaon can go farther just to spread his talent. One of the reasons why he received the Gamaba Award. Also, he is not just a great Kudyapi performer. He is also a good father and a farmer. A man who's dedicated his talent to their tradition and self-expression meet the great art. Musila Intalay is a musician and poet from Macaco Valley in Palawan. In 1993, when he was declared as Gamaba Awardee, he chanted a portion of a Palawan and epic. He recites the lyrical poem called Kulilal and Bagit, an instrumental music depicting nature. He plays the basa or gong together with the kimbal with his companions. The woman complements the song by a dance of feet beating out in rhythm on the bamboo floor. He preserved their traditions by passing it through to his children who are now continuing it in Blue Point. His music represents the Palawan knowledge about forests, stars, and cosmos, a cosmos that was home to his people. Gino Bilo was born on January 3, 1953. He is a poet in the Hanunumangyan in Panaytayan Oriental Mindoro. Hanunumangyan is a cultural group of indigenous people in Mindoro Island in the Philippines. Hanunumangyan is a very welcoming person, especially in other non-ethnic groups that visit their place. They are very traditional and cultural oriented. Gino Bilo was devoted his life to preserving their culture, which is the Ambahan tradition in Oriental Mindoro, using Sulat Mangyan, or what we all know the by Bayin. The Ambahan tradition is poetry that, is, that express love, traditional, wisdom, sage advice, common courtesies, and humor. Ambahan poetry uses metaphor and creative images for the reader to imagine what the poet wants to deliver. An Ambahan poetry should contain seven syllable lines. His goal is to preserve the tradition of Hanuno Mangyan. The cantor succeeded because their culture and tradition have been passed and acknowledged by the new generation. Gino Bilog was awarded in Manilikha Bayan in 1993 by President Fidel V. Ramos two decades after he was awarded. Gino Bilog died at age of 50 in the year 2013 due to lingering illness.
Langdulay is a textile weaver at Tiboli and came from Lake Cebu, South Cotabato. Her name is spoken in all with admirations. She received the gawad sa Manilika ng Baran and it extends far behind her skills and weaving abaca fibers into tinalaklak. She mastered the process of dyeing the threads and producing both traditional as well as the contemporary adaptations of the designs gained her followers and students. And when the threads are dyed and woven, there's where the designs come out. Tinalak is a marvel of designs which is intuitively done by the, des by the designer Langdulay. Langdulay received a grand manor during her funeral and she's the only one that received that type of manor in her funeral. But even their high politicals didn't receive that type of manner, especially during the necrology civil service. She may have passed away, but her legacy will remain because she have made her tribe proud of her. Langdula is a leader, and she has big schools and many followers. And she tried most of them. What she have learned on the international events that she had been brought, and she answered that she have learned the value of education. That she have talked with it with the younger people. That it's what she would invest in. That's why her schools and, other, and students was one of the most successful of all the Gamaba schools. She said that when she have received the award of her life change and that she have fulfilled her wish and that was to see her grandson or granddaughter to finish school and become teachers. She said that it is her dream, her wish and that she is so blessed. Langdulay was, give, was given the award of Gawad sa Manilika ng Bayad in 1998 and have passed away in 2015. Uh, Salita is a Bagobo from Double Little Sur and she preserved the art of Bagobo. Her art is very intricate and very colorful. Salinta Munon specializes small-scale ikan technique. Salinta Munon is a quiet person and intricate person, and she also doesn't want people around of her house because she wants to focus on her own work. Si Haja Amin Api ng Umus Matata Tanda Bastawi Tawi ay pinagkalooban ng Gawad Award. Manilikha ng bayan noong 2005 para sa kanyang kausayan sa paglalaat ng makukulay na banig. Ang sining ng paglalala ng banig ay itinuturo ng kababaiyang sama sa kanilang mga anak na babae. Isinasagawa ng mga babae ang mga proseso mula sa pag-aari ng pandan hanggang sa aktual na pagdidesenyo. Matagal at komplikado ang mga prosesong ito at nangangailangan ng tiyaga at sigla ng katawan. Bukod sa mga ito, kailangan... Kailangan din silang marunong sa pagtutugma ng kulay. Mapunahin sa mga detalye at mausay na matematika. Natatangi ang mga likha ni Haji Amina dahil bagaman pinanatili pa rin niya ang tradis traditional na paggawa sa mga ito. Hindi siya ang ngingiming lawakan ito ng kanyang higit na modernong mga disenyo. Makikita ito sa banig na ang gitnang bahagi ay nagtataglay na hanggang walong kulay at tila pinoprotektahan ng anime balangkas na walang disenyo sa mga gilid. Tumatagal ng halos tatlong buwan ng paggawa ng obrang ito. Kumapalat na puno na ng kalyo ang mga kamay ni Haja Amina dahil sa matagal na panahon ng pag-aan at pagkukulay. Sa kabila nito, iba yung pag-aalang pa rin ang sinusukli ng kaniyang mga komunidad. Hindi lamang dahil sa natatangin niyang disenyo o katwiran ng kanyang mga tabig at kapinuhan ng kanyang sasya at kimakima kundi dahil sa mga itinuro niya sa kanila. Dalawang henerasyon na ng mga sama ang kanyang mga anak at apo. Ang napagsalina ni Haja Amina ng kanyang sining at kaalaman sa pagilikha ng mga kulin na banig ngunit patuloy pa rin niya itong ibinabahagi sa kababaihan ng kanyang komunidad. Hindi lamang upang matiyak na hindi malilimutan ang sining na minana rin niya kundi dahil ipinagmamalaki niya ang kanyang kultura. Darhata Sawabi, a master weaver from Holos Barrios Parang, was the last master weaver of Philippine textile. She never married. She was able to achieve financial independence by weaving the piece shabby, a traditional textile tapestry that the Taosug of Holo used as a head covering. As a result, weaving is her only source of income. A hand-woven square measuring 39 by 40 inches, which takes her 3 months to weave, sells for around only 2,000 pesos. Her remarkable mastery of the art and the complexity of her design allow her to charge a little more of her creation than others. Her own community 
of weavers admire her skill in the te techniques as well as her vivid contrasting colors even with and adherence of traditional designs. Though the honor creator Susan Kala Medina passed away, but it still contributed a lot to culture of the country and the Filipino people. But nevertheless, what they start was a gift to the country to pass in the inherited culture. Former President Benigno Aquino speech that he is very proud of the culture called Dayo and its members who have built the stability of this culture. However, according to the president who should be proud of this culture because it emphasizes our race and our unity as a Filipino citizen and continue yet it to be further passed it on to the next generation. Former Chair Gamaba Committee Dr. Elani Merano that according to them that we should not be blind of how our Mandilika spared their creativeness and also being spiritual in terms of creating some arts that will contribute greatly in our nation. What are the responsibilities of Gamaba Awardees? First is to encourage the finest traditional artists to pursue to share the, their skill and continue, continuously transfer it to others and to remain truthful to their art. And it also motivates artists to develop their skills, work, and ideas and to teach it to the young generation. It also helps traditional folks to instill their pride as manilikha ng bayan. Gamaba also helped to the traditional work of artists to promote their craft both local and international. Gamaba aimed to preserve old age custom crafts and way of living of the people. It also aimed that Filipino people will be able to appreciate and realize their Filipino life is this also promote the preservation of the Filipino culture through art. Question number two. If you would be given a chance to leave a short message for our Manilika Nambayan, what would it be? My short message for Manilika Nambayan is a pride in our town about the genius of Manilika Nambayan. Due to the logo of the Gawad sa Manilika Nambayan, it is a stylish representation of the woman form using traditional fabrics. Below the motif is Manilika Nambayan written was widely used throughout the Philippines during Western contact in the 16th century. The Gamaba Awardees are one of our living treasure or hero, if I might say. I think the most important thing that Gamaba Awardees has left us in the old age customs, arts, craft, and ways of living that they mastered and taught the new generation. The Gamaba Awardees also reflect the diverse heritage and cultural traditional that transcend their being to become part of our national tea character. But most of all, the best thing that the Gamaba Awardees has left us in the pride and honor that every Filipino must remember and recognize. Yes, because they show here how important what they did and how they value every culture of Filipino. They will conduct engaging cultural performances, timely discourses on the shared cultural values in their response to the current crisis, which entails the widest dissemination of the indigenous people, artistic and cultural ways of living, presenting, and celebrating their diverse cultural heritage, traditional art and knowledge, and recognize and appreciate their effort 